साइराम स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू योर ऑनलाइन सेशन ऑफ इंग्लिश न्यू वॉइसेस एंड इन इंग्लिश न्यू वॉइसेस व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी आर कंटिन्यूड चैप्टर व्हिच वाज व्हिच वाज चैप्टर नंबर 11 हु लाइक्स द रेन व्हिच वाज आवर चैप्टर नंबर व्हिच वाज कंटिन्यूड दैट इज chapter 11 number is chapter 11 and the name of the chapter is who likes the rain and in this chapter today what we are going to study we are going to do our book exercise okay what we are going to do today we are going to do today is our book exercise and now we see our first exercise of our book which is before starting the poem that is spot five differences between these two pictures there are two pictures which is given on your book before the poem see these two pictures and you have to spot five differences between these two pictures okay so see the first see this there are the two pictures which is given on your book page okay so i am going to show you all the five differences now see on the screens first difference there is some water under the boot of the girl this is the first difference see where the first is written and in the second picture there is no water under the shoe of the girl okay now see the second difference second difference is there are some leaves in the hands of a boy in the hand of a boy there are some leaves and in the second picture there is only one leaf in the hand of a boy okay so this is the second difference first is the girl have some water under her shoe and the in the second picture there is no water under her shoe and the second difference is there are some leaves in hand of the boy and in the second picture there is only one leaf in the hand of a boy now see the third one third difference is there is there is the color of raincoat the color of raincoat in the first picture is red which had the boy wore and in the second picture the color of the raincoat is blue so this is the third difference see the third mark now see the fourth the boy who had the rain, rain coat has cap in the second picture and in the first picture there is no cap on the head of the boy so this is our fourth difference and the fifth difference is the dog is the dog is with the rope in his neck and in the second picture there is no rope around the dog's neck so these are the five difference the first one is the water under the shoe of the girl and the second is the leaf in hand of the boy and the third is the color of the rain coat fourth is the cap on the boy's head and the fifth is the rope around the dog's neck so these are the five differences now see the next exercise which is choose the correct answer you have to choose the correct answer so the first question is the red rubbers of the duck are what are the red rubbers of the duck in the poem yes the red rubbers was its webbed feet here the red rubbers of the duck is showing that her webbed feet which is of the red color which looks like a rubber which makes her easy to walk or swim in the rain or rain water so the red rubbers of ducks are its webbed feet second one is the dandelion's head is tousled because the dandelion's head is tousled because dash the petals are dry it did not comb its hair it was plain so the answer is the petals are dry the 
dandelion thread is tousled because its petals are dry that is why dandelion is also happy when he sees the rain because his head was tousled because its petals are dry now see the next the tree toad is safe from the rain under a broad leaf not mushroom not under the umbrella the tree toad is safe from the rain under a broad leaf as we read in the poem that the tree toad was sitting under a broad leaf to make herself safe from the rain so the answer is c broad leaf now see the fourth one the brook likes the rain because it wants to find its way to the sea the brook likes the rain because it wants to find its way to the sea so the answer is c1 c now see the fifth one ted likes to run through the puddle on the way when ted goes to the school there was puddles on which he was running so the ted likes to run through the puddles on the way so this is all about your multiple choice questions in which you have to choose a correct answer okay so now see the next one which is what sh what sounds do these animals make now i am going to show you some animals you have to find the sounds which they make write these words in the correct bubble here are given some bubbles in front of those animals you have to write the correct words that 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 means the correct sound which makes by the which make by the animals so here is our picture she seen your books here is your picture duck here is one duck one cow hen owl horse and sheep okay now see see this what is the sound of duck the sound of the duck is quack so in the bubble of the duck write down quack in the bubble of the duck write down quack sound okay now see the next next is cow what is the sound of cow is cow sound is moo so write down m d l o moo in the bubble of which is in front of the cow ducks ducks voices duck sound is quack cow sound is moo now the next is han what is the sound of han it's cluck c l u c k cluck write down in the bubble which is the which is in the front of the han write down cluck write down cluck c l o c l u c k cluck next is owl what is the sound of owl the sound of owl is hoot h w o t hoot write down in the bubble of owl h w o t hoot next is horse what is the sound of horse the sound of horse is nee n e i g h nee this is the sound of horse n e i g h nee next is what is the sound of sheep what is the sound of sheep the sound of sheep is ba b double a ba b double a ba so i'm again repeating the sounds the sound of duck is quack the sound of cow is moo the sound of hen is cluck the sound of owl is hoot the sound of horse is nee the sound of sheep is ba okay now see the next question next is find pairs with the similar endings then find those clouds with the same color what you have to do you have to find the pairs with the similar endings whose endings are similar and then you have to fill the same colors in both the similar ending pairs okay see this this is in your book see there 
there are some words whose endings are the same you have to make the pairs of them and then fill the colors in it see like this see the first is the blue one pour the blue one pour and see do the same color the blue in the floor the ending is same of pour and floor do the blue color in pour and floor then see the green one shook shook and brook see the same ending of shook and brook shook brook do the green color in shook and brook now see the brown color boots boots and the roots these have the same endings do the same color like brown boots roots boots roots do the brown color in this then see the purple color one twiddle fiddle twiddle fiddle both have the same endings then do twiddle fiddle twiddle fiddle okay do the purple color in this then see the puddle puddle huddle puddle huddle these are the both the same words which have the same ending do the color red in both the words and puddle and huddle then hoof roof hoof and roof do the sky blue color in hoof and roof both are same hoof and roof both are same do the sky blue color so hope you understand with this you have to color you have to first pair the words which have the similar ending then you have to fill the similar color in the pairs okay now see the next question which is write words which begin or end with the same consonants as these words one has been done for you here are given some sentences in these the similar consonant is repeating again and again if it is on the begin or the end with the same consonant as these words you have to circle them see the first one see the first one is word light light the same beginning letter would be line and the same ending letter is t so the answer is right it is given in your book next see the tree tree the starting word is trap and the second word is which is end with the double e that is free next third is brook the word which is the same beginning letter is break which is started from the b and the same ending letter is shook which is ended with the k break and shook next is gray grape start with the letter g and pray which ends with the letter y first one is light which is line and right whose same beginning letter is line whose same ending letter is right next is tree whose same starting letter is trap and same ending letter is free next third is brook whose same starting letter is break and same ending letter is shook last is gray whose same starting letter is grape and same ending letter is pray okay now see the next question you have to read this line aloud circle these sounds that are repeated you have to circle the sounds which are repeated again and again okay see go and gather the green leaves on the grass first one there the word g is repeated again and again you have to circle the g circle the g of go circle the g of gather circle the g of green and circle the g of grass next is paul planted the pretty pink poppies in the pot here the repeated word is p so circle the word p of the paul circle the word p of the planted circle the word p of pretty circle the word p of pink circle the p word p of poppies circle the double p of poppies again and circle the p of pot
ओके नो सी द नेक्स्ट राउंड एंड राउंड शी रैन Here the word R is repeated again and again. So round the R of round, circle the R of again round, circle the R of ran. Next is fourth. Bella buys a big black bag for her books. Here you have to circle the word B, which is repeated again and again. So here circle the B of Bella. Circle the B of buys. Circle the B of big. Circle the B of black. Circle the B of bag. And circle the B of books. Now the fifth one. Javed jumped and made the jellies jiggle. Javed jumped and made the jellies jiggle. Here circle the word J, which is repeated again and again. Circle the word J of Javed. Circle the word J of jumped. and circle the word j of jellies and circle the way of circle the word j of jiggles so this is all about your book exercise of english which is of chapter number 11 who likes to read do this in a neat and clean handwriting in your books and we will see your book